my, my man, Chris, thoughts on today's game? What's up, good sir? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Um, you know, we're, we're awful. We're about as awful as everyone would think we'd be. Uh, uh, I, oh, go ahead. I had, uh, you know what, the first half I thought was, I thought was surprising. Uh, uh, we played much better. We, we were compact. Uh, we were uh, closing out the passing lanes. So I, I, had, I felt confident going to the second half, and I don't know what happened. Besides, yeah. no well, we were. Go ahead. We were good. Ahead. Well, we were, we were pretty good the first. I, I'm going to step outside really quick. Mm-hmm. Um, I agree. I think we were pretty good the first, what, 15, 20 minutes. And then it was the game over. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, it's some of the some of the decision making is just just awful. Like from the people on the field, I mean, it's just terrible. And then you get, you know, how do you? I mean, I, well, we say it's four substitutions, but if if it's if it's the eighty fifth minute, does it really count? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if it's if it's if it's if it's junk time, if it's the if it this is it, if it's the time that you would sub on a player to kill off a game. If you were winning, it doesn't really count. It doesn't really count as a substitution. And, and so, you know, if you want to go into the subs, like, regardless of what you feel about him, regardless if he's your guy, if he's your player, or if you think, you know, he's the future, he's the truth, whatever. Like Ethan Zubak, right? Mm-hmm. What does that guy have to be thinking right now? That exactly. in, in the, like, 85th minute, 85th, 86th minute, 84th minute, something like that of what would be a must-win game. If we lose, basically we're out. In the 85th minute of a must-win game, we sub on a defensive midfielder who hasn't played a single first-team minute. Like, that guy gets the call above you. Like, Dunbar got the call in game one above you. Wild's going to get the call in this game again above you. Like, regardless of what you think about him. Like, that's a player you just destroyed. Yeah. Like mentally or psychologically, like right. hopefully he's one of these guys that that lights a fire under him and he wants to prove a guy wrong. But like, if if he's just a guy that you want in your setup and is your is your backup, is your first team backup, like he he better be third. He, like he has to be third now. Yeah, yeah. Because if he's second, you just you just crushed him for no reason. Yeah. Like for no reason whatsoever. Sorry, I could keep. I could rant and rave about it. I apologize. Um, I just, I just, what, what upset me was we were. I think we were on the, we were on three yellow cards at the half. We were on four yellow cards pretty early, and yes, still no subs. Uh, defensively, <laughs> that, sorry. Defensively, that limits us. I mean, I mean, you have players now that have to watch themselves. Uh, if there's a if there's a fifty fifty ball, I might be able to go in as strong, and you just don't make any subs. I mean, and we have extra subs now because you know what's going on not until about what one sub before the 80th minute and then at the end just put people in garbage time when the game's over mm-hmm. that's it there's no there's no but there's no structure there's no there's no plan there's no depth like again we went over this we went over this on uh, the right squad cast hey um we went over this on the right squad cast so you go you go man by man in the entire organization Every single person was either signed, re-signed, or promoted from the academy and the second team by GBS and DTK, except Harry Kitchener and David Bingham. Besides those two, literally every one of the organizations promoted, signed, or re-signed by those guys. Like, it's your team. Like, this is your team at this point. And, and, and with it being, you know, we're three transfer windows in on GBS. We're three transfer windows in on this, on this plan. Like at what point? At what point is it your is it your guys? Just, and if it's your guys, then this is the best you can manage with your guys. Like yeah. you resign Stairs, you resign Legit, you yeah. resign Felcher. Like you've resigned these players. Um, you know, you you like Bingham, yeah. Like that's a starter, and that's an important starter, and that wasn't your guy. And maybe you go out and make a move for your guy later, but. Literally everyone else, everyone else is your guy, and somehow that you're still not on the hook for this. And they're like Hernandez didn't play, and it's like okay, well he's had three transfer windows to find a backup for a big money designated player with a history of injuries, and it's a USL, it's a USL forward for a second year in a row, like it's nobody for a second year in a row. So so much so that when you're down 
when you're down, <laughs> when you're down by, by three goals in a must win game, you don't need to bring on a defensive midfielder. You, maybe you can bring on a forward because you've had three windows to sign somebody. Maybe. Oh man. It's heavy. <laughs>